us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil or from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Amen. Come on. Why? For three opportunities that we have here in the earth, God has assigned us to the earth that we would become a blessing to the earth. Uh, uh, amen. And that's why the devil don't want you to know how important you are. He does not want you to understand that the giftings that God has allowed you to have uh, of about him through him is for the earth. Oh, uh, y'all, come on. Amen. It's to, so that you can help whomever your assignment is, because all our assignment is not behind the pulpit. But in corporate America, wherever you've been assigned to, you are a gift to that area. Amen. You are a gifting that God has allowed to sustain the earth. Amen. For he said, I was looking about and I was looking for a man to make up a hedge and to stand in the gap. Amen. Much of what you're doing is standing in the gap. Come on. To keep the earth as corrupt as it is from collapsing. Uh, yeah, if you understood how important you were, amen, you would go to work every day with your head up knowing that you are an assignment. Uh, amen. How do I know? Because when your assignment is over, he say, well done. My good and faithful servant, you've been faithful over a few uh, I wish I had some help so that you can understand your value. Amen. Why? Because uh, uh, we understand that the kingdom revolves about around love, a love that's unconditional, meaning my love is not prejudice. I love everybody the same way. Why? Because my God is not a respecter, a person. Oh, y'all won't help me. Amen. And then it is because he said to his honor. Amen. Kingdom is a responsibility and it is a character responsibility. Amen. You got to carry yourself in such a way people know you different. Uh, and they know you different, amen, than everybody else. They know your language is different. Your mannerism is different. There is a different uh uh, 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 air about you. Why? Because God has called you to be a kingdom demonstrator. Amen. Amen. So Colossians 4 and 6 says, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye are to answer Every man. Amen. Why? Uh, the world is decaying. The world is loveless. The world is corrupt. Oh, y'all won't help me. Amen. The world is in desperate need for salt. Oh, y'all, come on, somebody. Amen. And uh, the storehouse for salt is the church. Amen. The church is full of salt and full of light. We can't let nobody tell you any differently. Amen. You are assigned to flavor the world. 
Amen. And, and, and the Bible says in Matthew 9, 50, you don't have to turn there. Salt is good. But if salt have lost its saltiness, wherewith you season it, have salt in yourselves and have peace with another. Oh, y'all, come on. Amen. Hallelujah. This is why the, the enemy comes in and he wants to cause disruption in the church. He wants to cause us to come against one another and look at one another like one is more important than the other. And, and, and your title does not make you salty. Uh, I can't get no help. Amen. Amen. But your attitude, your disposition, come on somebody, how you stand in your salvation is what makes you salty. Oh, y'all, come on, somebody. Amen. Say you salt. Amen. As we look, we, we, we see in Galatians 6, you don't have to turn there because we're going to go back to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Uh, he says, let us not be weary in well-doing. In other words, don't allow a season, no matter what it looks like in your life, affect you so that you cannot be who God has acclaimed you to be. I, 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 it, it, your season might not look good. Amen. But if you don't think, <laughs> come on, somebody, you're going to read. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So what? If if a season looks like it's against me. Oh, y'all, come on. Amen. I cannot look at the season like it has an authority to dictate, come on, my outcome. Oh, y'all won't help me because God will not allow it because God has ordained me, come on, for all seasons. I wish I had some help. Amen. That's why when you're no season, come on, amen. It does not mean it's a no for sure. Amen. Because God is a turnaround God. He'll, he'll allow you the things to turn around in your life. Come on, somebody. Why? Because he'll not let you fail. Oh, my God. Come. This is good. Amen. Amen. He'll not allow you. He said, I'm able to keep you from falling. Is anybody with me? Amen. So we can't allow ourselves to become uh, disgruntled. We can't allow ourselves to lose our peace. We can't allow ourselves to forget who we are in Christ. Is anybody with me? Amen. When we look at Matthew the fifth chapter is, are you with me right here? Amen. Let's look at Matthew, the fifth chapter, beginning at verse 13. We call this the beatitude. <laughs> Amen. But even more than that, more than the beatitudes, it's a definite, definitive uh uh, um, a description of who we are to be. Amen. How our life, how our lives are to be. Amen. And so he says, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under, foot, under the foot of men. So then we begin to think, what are the characteristics of salt? We know that salt flavor. Uh-huh. Amen. And, and our kind of flavor means you got fruit in your life. Amen. Because the fruit helps you to flavor your surroundings. 
Is, is that right? Amen. That's why some people like you. Not everybody like you, but some people like you. Some people are drawn to you. Come on, amen. Not everybody is drawn to you, but some people are drawn to you. Amen. Because you have been assigned to a place. And you have been signed to some people. Amen. Now, now, the stories that we always hear, the story that we always hear, we talk about Lot's wife. Amen. She became a lot of salt. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But uh, salt has value. This is why when we look historically, why they use salt uh, in Jerusalem, we, we know the Dead Sea and, the, amen, all the salt that's around uh, the Dead Sea. But when we look at it, it, it it's, its form uh, was important during that day because it was the source of revenue for the rulers of the country. Uh, uh, it, I wish you see something that Jesus was trying to get the church to see, amen, that, that, that they were a, a source, they were a resource, and it was used for temple service. Oh, I wish I had me some help, amen, amen. But this is the best part that I like when I found this. It was also applied to manure. So the soil would be accomplished. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hey, don't, don't say mess finds you. It's been mess assigned to you. Not for the mess to change you. I can't give me no help. But for you to influence the mess. Uh, 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 that, that's, that, that's the history of the salt. It had influence. It influenced the earth. I wish I had me some people that see something right here. Amen. It influenced the earth. It's, it's composition. Amen. Uh, 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 to the soil, it happened. It, it helped in the decomposition of dung. Uh, I, y all, y all, in, other, in other words, it changed dung. So that dung, come on, could help the growth of the earth. I, I wish I had. Y'all not with me right here. Amen. You, you, got, you got value. Amen. And when you allow mess to change you. It tries to take away your flavor. It tries to decompose you rather than you influencing it. Oh, y'all won't help me. Amen. It'll make you. It'll make you say things that you shouldn't say. Uh, uh, it'll make you do what you don't want to do. You won't see the value in yourself. That God had a reason why He let mess come your way. Oh my God, he had a reason why he wanted it to why he wanted it to come because he allowed it to come so it would challenge you. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Amen. So at some point, he wants you to get over it and recognize that it can cause you to be devalued. Come on, you'll cause it to be devalued. You don't stop, come on, because you're challenged. As long as he keep you in the earth, he meant for you to make some changes to your environment. I, I, I 
God, they, they come on, somebody, amen. This, that's why we talk about the the uh, sphere of influence that that you have influence wherever you've been assigned in the earth. Come on, you got to tap into the greatness that God has on the inside of you, because that greatness is to bring you wealth and to make you change the earth. That's why you got to look at a problem not as a problem but as the solver of the problem oh y'all with me right here amen amen salt was also a sterilizer it had medicinal purposes even today when we go to the dentist y'all won't help me amen all them pills you taking it still don't take away the swelling the, Soreness, come on, amen. You call your mama, your grandmama. They say, did you put some salt in some hot water? Come on and rinse your mouth. Come on, somebody. And the next thing you know, come on, had a sore throat. They say, gargle with some salt. And well, I wish I had me. Come on, somebody. Amen. Jesus was telling you, you got so much value that whatever you touch, come on, you are there to bring healing. You are there to bring wholeness. You are there to bring change. You are there to get changed yourself. Oh, are y'all with me right here? Amen. How, how do I know? Let's turn the eyes there, 55. <laughs> Real quick. Yo, yo, yo with me. Amen. Salt, salt, salt. Amen. Salt spreads. You ever, you when you pour salt out, it don't stay in one spot. Oh, y'all won't help me. Come on. You got to hold it. Make sure it stays in one spot because salt travels. Oh, <laughs> oh y'all, y'all. Amen. That's why God have given you so many capabilities. You're able to do more than one thing at one time. Amen. You're able to handle whatever pressure comes your way. Come on. You're able to make changes and make it move. Am I talking to anybody? Amen. Remember your dreams. Remember your vision. Remember the things that you had on the altar. Guess what? God intended for you to do some of those things. Let's look at this. Isaiah 55. Boy, y'all with me. My God, my God. Let me. 55.10. Yes. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and return it not thither, but water the earth and make it bring forth bud, bring forth and bud, that it may give what? And bread to the, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me, what? But it shall accomplish that which I send which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where, unto, where to I what? Sent it. Come on, somebody. Amen. You were sent here not to be poor. You were sent here. Come on. So whatever you do will prosper you and cause men to look at you and say, how in the world did they do that? Come on. Amen. But you will say it wasn't by my own power. It wasn't by my might. Come on. It was by his what? Amen. So that God would get the glory. Amen. How is the world going to see God? Through you. How will they know God? Through you. That's why you can't be ashamed to say it's God. 
I, I, I wish I had me some help. Amen. How are you doing it, God? Amen. God will show how he will sustain you with nothing. That's why he said, come with me and back. Don't, don't come with money. Now, come on, somebody. Amen. Here, amen. God is saying, whatever your destiny cannot be stopped. We are our own worst enemies because we devalue ourselves. Uh, 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 we devalue our worth. Uh, amen. We, we use our status as, with education and, and all that. But you had value, come on, when you came out your mom's womb. You are valuable. Will you go and tell three people how valuable they are? God want to show out. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Now tell yourself, I am. Oh, my God. Amen. It's something about you that God has purpose to change this earth. I wish I had me some help. It's something about you. That God wants to use to change the earth. Come on, the earth is the Lord. See, we want to categorize it, amen, and call it mountain. But he said the earth. Oh, y'all won't help me. Come on. Amen. He said I, the earth is the Lord and the full. Uh, y'all, come on. So one part of this earth belongs to me. Oh, uh, y'all won't help me. I was called to change something in the earth. When we start walking in obedience and walking in the fortitude and walk like we know who we are in Christ and walk in success. I don't care if you work in the sanitation department and ain't no reason why you ought not be successful in the sanitation. I can't get me no help. I don't care where you are. I don't care if you're a clerk housekeeper. It ought not be, come on somebody, that you don't get recognized for being the greatest of who you are. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. They recognize me. Why? Because you like it. They recognize me because I'm salt. Amen. Amen. That's why people like you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because you talk to everybody. Amen. You the same all the time. Anybody got a same all the time spirit? Or you one of them people? You got a frown today. They don't know if they should talk to you, if they can speak with you. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's not a good recognition of salt. Amen. It's not recognizing the God in you. But when you recognize that you got greatness in you, you don't have to go around looking ugly. I can't give me no help. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, then secondly, because this works together, he said, ye are the light of the world. Oh, my God, this is good. Amen. That's a declared place. Oh, I wish. I, that is a, I don't care where you go, brightness is following you. I, I don't care. Come on. That's why you can pray for people over here and there, over there, and, and wherever you go. Come on, somebody. You're drawing people to you. you. Don't ever say, I don't know why people are drawn to me. Amen. They're drawn to you because you are representative of a high king. 
Amen. They're drawn to you because they recognize that there's an aura around you. Uh, I wish I had me some help. Amen. Amen. That's why they start teaching us when we look this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Come on. Amen. Everybody knew that in every church. Amen. Because we were, ta we were taught to be worldwide people. Amen. Not just worldwide Christians, but worldwide people. Amen. When you recognize salt and light, you recognize that God has made you irresistible. People just can't help but come next to you. That's why you got to check yourself. Check your fruit out. Amen. Make sure. Come on, somebody. Amen. Make sure they can see a smile and not a frown. I can't give me no help because it's a misrepresentation of God. Come on, when people find you unapproachable. I wish I had me some help right here. Amen. Light. He said, ye are the light. A city. Woo! You're not just a light, but you're a city. Just one of them is a city <laughs> that is set on a hill cannot be what? Amen. So verse 16 says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good what? Them, them, that's why you got to work. And faith without works. Amen. What's the demonstration of my good works? And glorify your Father. I'm so glad God sent you. Amen. When they recognize you a gift from God. You just didn't happen to be a person that signed an application. But when you came, you were a gift. Oh, I, I can't give no help. Amen. The devil don't want you to recognize who you are. Amen. Say, I am a gift. Oh, my God. It's not your fault your boss don't recognize who you are. Amen. But guess what? Let them see God's good work in you. Let them see God's hand on you. Let them see changes. Come on, somebody. Amen. Wherever you are and whatever realm you working in there ought to be something different about you no matter how the challenge is oh uh, come on you gotta look see i know people praying amen because when they're challenged and they in god they'll go to god and say is it anything they'll hear god say is there anything too hard for me I'm going to give you a plan. Go to sleep. I'm going to give you a plan. Go to sleep. Oh, y'all won't help me. You'll wake up in the morning with a plan. Come on, somebody. You'll be God. I praise you because I, this is the answer. Amen. I'm in a hard place, but I just got my answer. Hallelujah. Why? Because you are so connected to the kingdom. Come on, somebody. That even though you called to be in a hard place, amen, you, you know that it has to change. You got to believe yourself. Amen. You got to cast off hindrance. Amen. We were at a staff meeting and Apostle talked about the blind spots around the heart. Amen. You have to cast off the darkness or the hindrance, even if it's your own self. Oh, yeah, you got to trust that God knows that he, where he placed you. God knows what he requires of you. God knows that this is not an act. 
God knows his assignment for you. Amen. And some of our assignments are harder than others. But that's because he gave you a capacity to take it. Is anybody with me right here? Amen. I have the capacity to handle the challenge. Amen. That's, that's why your job look easy. And other people, like, I, I just don't see how you do it. I just really, uh, because you weren't given that capacity to handle the hard thing. Amen. But the harder the thing, the greater the pay. Come on. Amen. Stop making life a challenge that hasn't even been given an opportunity to be challenged. Are y'all with me? Amen. Let's look at a couple of uh, Acts 13. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your kingdom. You don't think it was a challenge getting the church going and undoing worldly and undoing theologies and undoing all kind of mind. Amen. Acts 13, verse 47. <clears throat> Let, let's go back up. 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multiple multitudes, they were filled with what? Amen. And spake against those things which were what? Contradicting and blaspheming. Amen. Sound like today. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold. It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, Lo, we turn to the Gentiles, for so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation until the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word, the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life, believe. <laughs> Amen. His own people. Come on, question grace. Amen. So God said, you know what? I'm getting ready to give this to the Gentile. I'm going to give them this salvation. I'm going to give them this gift. Come on. Amen. Because they'll believe me until eternity. Oh, that's good right there. Amen. There is the eternal weight of his glory working inside of us. Amen. Not only just working, but has a reward with it. That's why you can't get upset at everything. And you got to understand I am a sign to make changes in my assignment. I, I can't get no help. I, I, come on, amen, stop getting mad and coming down to the level of other people. Come on, and talking about them and getting in groups and coming against, amen. Stop coming and getting it, but find yourself where God has assigned you, that you are a gift, come on, that God has assigned you to have peace inside yourself. Oh, see, when you ain't got peace inside yourself, it's hard to be a peacemaker. Hey, man, I'm on, I'm on a, an assignment. I'm on an assignment. This is not about people. It is not about me. 
Amen. It is about what I bring to bring change. Uh, come on. Amen. Did, did raising hell help? Did cussing out folk help? Amen. Didn't quitting this job, quitting that job, every time you can't get along with somebody, did that help? Who lost? Why? Because, as our apostle said, a problem unlearned. Amen. I, I can't just quit. I, I, I have a sister, she said, I took a job, but you know what? I get overtime and I make as much as I was making before I uh, um, retired from my old job. Amen. Why? And she didn't look down her nose. <laughs> she made it work for her. Come on. She made it make. She, come on, somebody. Amen. She allowed herself to bring change in that place. So they said, you know what? We're going to give you some more time because we need people like you. I, I can't get no help. Come on, somebody. I, amen. I'm going to give you some more money. I might not give you no title, but I'm going to give you some more money. I, I, why? Because you were called to bring change. You were called to make a difference. Amen. You can't worry about the price tag. Because Jesus said, what's right? I wish I had me some help right here. Jesus said, what's right? Amen. We have to understand that our assignment is not about price. <laughs> Amen. It's not about what you gave up. It's about what you're doing right now. It's not about judging yourself worthy. It's about being humble and saying, God, I thank you for this. I thank you for this little bit. I thank you. I thank you for this little bit. I, I come on, somebody. I thank you because that's how you work. Here a little, there a little. Amen. That's how you work. Come on, somebody. Amen. But it, then God, you are God that multiplies. Oh, my God. Come on, somebody. So eventually, I'm going to reap where I've sown. Say eventually, I'm going to reap. Where well, I have song. Amen. Know your worth. Come on and give God praise. Father.